This means that time that the time beam takes the time the beam takes to go from the laser to the mirror to the detector must also be different for you and Amber so that you both agree on the speed of light. This phenomenon is known as time dilation, where the time of a ship moving very quickly appears to pass slower than on Earth. Mm. As strange as it seems, this example and many others demonstrates that Einstein's theory of relativity, space and time, are intimately linked together. It says, this strange behavior of space and time is only evident when you're traveling close to the speed of light, so no one had ever observed it before. Experiments carried out since Einstein's discovery have confirmed that it's true. Time and space are perceived differently in precisely the way Einstein described for objects moving near the speed of light. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I mean, technically, though, technically, they get all that. I mean, in a, well, in a way, it's, it's, it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? But it's theory because they haven't done it. But technically, they get all that from the scriptures, man. Like reading the scriptures on how the angels move and how things occur. The creation of, of everything, you see? How long it took. You see, Esau, remember, remember that, what the Bible says, that Esau has become more wiser than Daniel. And that he what? He searched at all things out. So it makes sense, you know what I'm saying? Uh, theory of relativity, right? You know, you are, uh, um, and dealing with gravity, if you, if you, if you push something, it's liable to come back, right? Or you push something, it rolls that way. Or it'll go that way, you know? Against uh, physics and all that. Like if you drop a, if you, if you ball up a piece of paper, and you take an apple, and you drop them both at the same time, even though the, the paper's lighter, they both hit the ground at the same time. Right, wait, you know what I'm saying? Check that out. See, so I mean, so all that, it, all Esau is doing is studying and researching what the Heavenly Father already created. Mm -hmm. So Esau can't claim all that shit, you know. What Esau is doing is trying to figure out how, how the Lord created. Because Esau is trying to be like the most high. He's limited though, man. He's, li he's very limited. Time on Earth is different from time out of the, out of the ozone layer. Right. Out of the ozone layer, you don't have gravity and all these right, exactly. things that that affect the earth so time is different right you can't drop an apple on a uh, piece of paper and out of space exactly <laughs> all time is is a measurement of length or something it, it ain't no different from uh from measuring things in inches or in miles or in feet yeah. it is no, you know what i'm saying miles per hour that's miles per hour is a me it's just what how long did it take you from this point to that point see it's something um uh, Elder Ayatan said earlier about um, time being uh, a, calcul uh, a measurement of the fourth dimension. When you look at time, when you look at uh, Esau's um, measuring of time, you have hours, minutes, seconds. That, that decimal point after the seconds, it always goes backwards. That's Esau trying to measure the fourth dimension, those milliseconds. That's what he's trying to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. And, and, and if you notice, it counts backwards. It doesn't count up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, cause it's a, it's a, it's infinite. Mm -hmm. You know. So go ahead. Okay, so this is our second Ezra chapter three, start verse twenty one. For the first Adam, bearing a wicked heart, transgressed and was overcome. So be all they that are born of them. That that first Adam is talking about you know the Adam in the book of Genesis. Mm -hmm. But that was actually Yahweh Shai. It says, thus infirmity was made permanent, and the law also in the heart of the people with a malignity, a malignity of the root, so that the good departed away and the evil abode still. So the times passed away. The times passed away, right? And the years were brought to an end. And the years were brought to an end. All right, go ahead. Then didst thou raise thee up a servant called David. So everything was calculated by time. Uh, the Lord, the Lord bringing His prophets all in time. The Lord bringing His prophets to prophesy of a certain event, all within its time. The flood, and you know, and now to come, the destruction of, of, of America by way of fire, mm -hmm. all in time. All right. That's why patience, patience is the suffering of what time, right? Patience is you suffer, suffer something that you have to go through until it's done, right? Our, ours is the patience of 
waiting for the so-called white man's time to be done so that we could get up in there. Right? The wait. All right, go ahead. We got more? Uh, I think that's it about the time. All right. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Go ahead. This is um, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 1. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. But you but yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so coming as a thief in the night. Right. That's beautiful. Wow. Yeah, that day <laughs> one we waiting for. All we do know is that these signs are showing that we are in that time. We're living in that time. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right. And the, the signs of the heavens, like the blood moons and whatnot, those show us that we're living in the times. And we have the um the rumors of wars and wars popping off. Those show us that we're living in the times. We got brothers waking up. That's a sign we're living in the times. Mm -hmm. And the time is the end time. But it's for America, man. Great war. And just a quick side note, if brothers didn't know, um, Iran has uh, boots on the ground over there in Syria now too. There we go. More, uh, more signs of the times. Right. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's 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 the it's the uh, the beginning of the troops gathering in the Valley of Decision. Mm -hmm. See. And what the hell? Once they're all there. Boom! The heavy have, have fight turn all of them against each other, man. Yep. And there you go. And just like that, man. Yep. It can happen overnight. Breaking news early in the morning. Oh shit! What's going on? Um, you know, I, uh, 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 Russia has has just launched one of their uh, ICBM missiles at Israel. What the fuck? Oh shit! Israel has fired. Back. You know, oh, yeah, overnight, oh, overnight. All right, showing you that it's the heavenly father, man. Holding, holding back what? Um, to, let me get Revelation seven. What, what, what is the Heavenly Father doing? Revelation, because it, it's easy for the Heavenly Father to get this thing pop, mm -hmm. popped off. But he is bound by his word. His certain prophecies have to come to pass, right? The chip, right? These things have to come to pass. All right. Go ahead. Okay, Revelation seven. You see that come to pass in their time. Uh, no. to start from seven and one. Okay, one. You got it? No, I got it. Okay, you. Revelation seven and one. After these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, uh -huh. holding the four winds of the earth. What's the wind? Yeah, break it down. Yeah, the winds is talking about the destruction. You see the wars, tornadoes. Oh well, uh, Mexico is about to get hit. Category five. With the category five, two hundred plus wins. And what is that called? Wins. Category five is known as what? The hand of God. The hand of God. Mm. Yep. This is a this is a hurricane. The category five hurricane, <laughs> two hundred plus wins. I think it's the most powerful hurricane. Yep, ever that recorded. Ever came through this. Mm -hmm. It's called. They call it Hurricane Patricia, right? So those are the winds that the angels are letting loose. You see that war intensifying in the Middle East. That's the angels letting loose because it's the time. You see, a couple years ago, 10 years ago, it wasn't time for for uh, for Syria and, um, and Russia and the United States to get involved in this war that's going on now. But now is the time. So the Most High is telling the angels to let the winds go. Okay? So, it says, holding up the four winds of the earth, that the wind shall not blow on the earth, nor on any sea, excuse me, not on, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. Right, in other words, they're holding back the nations and their military from shooting those thermal nuclear missiles. Because once the, once those missiles begin to be shot, say bye, say bye bye to the so-called white man in his world, man. These things, remember, Remember that a nuclear a nuclear missile they split, right? Because of nuclear fission, they split the atom mm -hmm. and made it that much. Esau really don't know. They split, split, so like it. They split the nucleus of the atom. Mm -hmm. That's why it's called nuclear. And they doubled the power, but they don't know. The heavenly, see, the angels could magnify the, the power in those warheads, though. <laughs> Understand? Yeah. Those, remember, yeah. while, while the missiles are being shot, right? Uh -huh. It's going to take, what, an hour? Nah, a like, half hour to reach yep, over here or something? Yep. Uh, right. 
and there's gonna be 200 million missiles. Remember that to the angels, since we're speaking about time, to the angels, they're looking at the missiles and the missiles like this. 